Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Manila and what it was like for me to go over there at first when I was a brand new missionary in the Philippines, in Manila. I was assigned to Paranaque, to Paranaque City, and I spent about six months there. And the area that we were assigned in was a squatter area, and there were people everywhere. I'm from, I'm from a place called Utah. A lot of you might know where that is. It's in America. And we do not have that many people here. And the roads are wide. And um, it's quiet. It's, it's not that hot. There's not a lot of rain. And so when I w first went to Manila, I thought to myself that I'm going to die here. <laughs> not because it's a bad place, but the first reason was because it was so hot. I thought for sure that I wasn't going to make it, that I was going to run out of water and that I was just, I, my body wouldn't be able to handle it. Um, but I'm still alive, as you can see. So <laughs> I guess that didn't happen. But it was hard at first. The humidity and the heat was really killer to me. Um, and I remember walking through the streets. And my first, there were three of us at first who were together as missionaries. We were called companions. And two of them were Filipino. The one was from, um, let's see, he was from Mindanao, and the other one was from Tarlac. And so here I am. I don't speak Tagalog. I'm super white. And we're just walking around these squatter areas, and everybody's staring at me. All the kids are freaking out. I remember one time there was a little girl, maybe three years old, and she kept grabbing my hand like this, and she was just staring at it. And she was rubbing it, and she was grabbing at my hair, and... Um, I learned later that I was the first white person that she ever saw. And I was like, I had no idea what was going on, of course, because I didn't speak the language. Um, but nonetheless, even though at first I was, we call it culture shock. I showed up and I was like, what is going on? I don't speak the language. I don't eat the food. It's really hot and humid. Everybody's staring at me all the time. Um, but I learned really fast that Filipinos are very kind. Um, that... Manila is really busy. There's people everywhere. There's tricycles going. There's animals in the road sometimes. There's a lot of chickens. Um, there's kids running around. There's people selling things on the side of the street. And despite all of everything that's going on and despite their busy lifestyle, that they're always kind. Uh, the people in Manila were always very kind to me. And they would always offer us food. I always love that kind bull. When we're walking by, they'd always offer us food, even if just as a greeting. But I loved that. Just the willingness to share and the willingness to, to love people. Later in my mission, in the time that I spent there, I was in Makati City for a long time. And I loved it there as well. I loved the people there. Um, and, yeah, I was in Makati for about 11 months. And it was just awesome to be with those people and again it's just super super busy with the jeepneys I really miss the jeepneys piling in with people and I miss the bus rides um, trying to fight to get onto buses uh, standing in lines at the grocery store just tons of people everywhere and I really miss that now I miss seeing all the people all over the place all the time in the atmosphere of the city um, but I just I really that's where I spent the majority of my two years in the Philippines was in Manila, Metro Manila. And I could just say that it's one of the best places in the world. That despite the circumstances, um, that I just love everything about it. Um, and so that's my gist about Manila.